Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is Owen here and today I want to make a video for you about the power of a conscious breath and it makes life interesting for, to have challenges and to have constant change. Otherwise it would be very boring, simple, easy and uneventful. <laughs> so we've chosen to come here and it's, it can be difficult but at the same time we can learn certain techniques and things to do to make the journey just a little bit easier a little bit more pleasant and enjoyable and one of those things is the power of the conscious breath and all that means basically is simply co being conscious in the moment and taking a nice deep breath becoming aware of your breathing even just one can shift your state of energy from being hectic and lost in a situation, reactive, dramatic, end of the world philosophy, <laughs> like so many people are lost in, they're stuck in the end of the world situation. Oh my god! To be more centered, calm, the same so if we can become more conscious at the moment for me life and spirituality are just life let's call it life because nothing is not spiritual a lot of like new agers and spiritual people they think they're, they're spiritual and others, others aren't and this is like falling into a trap of separatism labeling yourself and sort of through the back door thinking you're better than other people or that they're less evolved and you're more evolved. So if ever you're faced with a challenging situation, or if you're just simply going out for a walk, to do stuff like I am, you can always pay attention to stuff more. Become more into the present moment. You can see the bushes and the plants, the grass, and you can see how still life exists and it's not fussing or rushing like the way humans are often fussing, rushing and trying to avoid something we're either we're basically, we're often, we're living in a state of consciousness in mo a mode where we're trying to get away from something which is, which is here now, we're trying to get away from this moment satisfaction with what with what is here now we're trying to avoid it now because of something painful displeasing or unpleasant we we have resistance towards it and we're, we're there's, a, there's a hard dense energy and we're trying to escape we can't and it leads to suffering or and it's mixed with chasing something different which we're either trying to desperately avoid and and also we're trying to chase something get to something get to somebody get to somewhere I've noticed this even yesterday myself because I hadn't eaten in quite a long time and I'd only been eating fruits which are and the not eating and eating fruit support the body to detoxify and heal but this can like stir up detoxification and unpleasant symptoms like a rumbling stomach and everything <laughs> so it's kind of funny so um i noticed this this pleasure in me and really and utterly that it wasn't really that bad but psychologically, we humans 
have a hey there. We have a wish to avoid pain and to seek pleasure. Which is okay of course and it's even necessary for our survival. But when we live in this mode of consciousness to the ex to the excess or to the extreme or the imbalance, we're never in a state of contentment or peace or happiness in the now. So another one way anyway we can we can go about our business is to take a deep breath, a conscientious breath. It doesn't have to be a breath. Feel your body or just simply notice something else. It doesn't have to be noticing your body. Paying deep attention to something. It gets you into a, a mode of consciousness beyond ordinary daily thought of infatuation with something, preoccupation and avoidance. It will bring you peace. It will bring you peace. And that's all you want. That's all you need. It will bring you calmness, calm, the calm in the storm. It will bring you centeredness. It will stop you from arguing with somebody. It will stop you in your tracks of reactivity. If we can just become conscious for a moment. It will also help break your addictions. So. Being conscious is my number one teaching in the world, really, because conscious will, will stop you from being unhappy and will help you to become happier. It will help take away the blocks and it will help you to manifest and bring forth and go towards what you want, your desires, your heartfelt desires and your passions. It will help everything that you don't want <laughs> go away and everything that you do want to come or to be made and generated by you to be manifested. So being conscious means to be conscientious, centered, kind of like calm and collected, generally speaking, except for when you're letting out energy, when you're letting um, energy in motion, emotion, when you're letting emotion move through you and be felt and processed and move through you. We may not be exactly calm, but we may be acting and letting out the energy, the anger, but consciously knowing we are doing this for the purpose, for a good positive purpose of healing and expression. So, let me see. Isn't it a beautiful day? I've enjoyed making this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Remember what I, I'll end with what I begin with, and that is one conscious breath. Zooming out of your thoughts of the past and the future. Zooming into your body, body awareness. And to take a nice breath and to feel your lungs. To feel your body and to appreciate being alive and to appreciate your breath and to feel gratitude and to be happy for that. So I'll leave you and love you. God bless, good bless, good fortunes be with you. And if you've enjoyed this video, you may like my book. I've written a book. It's called Golden Messages of Abundant Joy and Celebration. And then, in small print, it has Awakening the Enlightened Heart. It's very much about the heart and about joy and about expansion, healing, people, communication and relationships, and a lot of humor in the book too. A lot of people laugh, and for me, probably my favorite thing is it makes me laugh. <laughs> it's a funny book. It's not a book you've read before, like you've read before necessarily. So, also do look below in the description box below the video. 
If you're new, I warmly invite you to uh, subscribe to the channel, to leave your comments or send me a message or, or to connect on Facebook, social media, Twitter. Um, and any questions or video requests, please do leave it below as well as have a look at my channel wall here for all my other playlists and that I've already put together on health of body, mind, spirit and emotions. So, so take care and look forward to hearing from you and have a, have a lovely day and have a beautiful day and stay beautiful like you are and remember how beautiful life is and everybody is. Alright, bye now.